Well, hi there. This is Jack. I made a replication of uh, Laser Saber's uh, 3.0 jewel ringer, and uh, thank him for that. And I'm running a uh, fluorescent light off of a 6-volt battery pack, and uh, I have a special coil wound. It's three layers, uh, one layer, 26 wire, 20 gauge wire, and then 14 gauge wire on the top. And it does oscillate, and it accepts uh, very various kinds of DC input, which is very nice. And here is um, a schematic diagram. Uh, you can see you can have variable DC in, and there is that 8-inch uh, ferrite rod that I ordered through the internet. It's a ferrite rod, 5 8 inch diameter, 8 inches long. And there's three coils on a uh, single layer for each coil. And here is the um, coil A is uh, 14, that's the topmost one. Uh, all of the coils are single layer. Um, just once uh, counterclockwise wound, just one layer of wire for the entire length, or seven inches or so of the of the ferrite rod. And the uh, inmost coil, which has the most winds, uh, ha turns out to have a fairly has a couple of hundred volts of induced uh, AC, which can easily light a fluorescent lamp, and uh, actually can uh, handle different kinds of loads. So I can show you here. If I take off the fluorescent. Then the secondary load um, lights up, and uh, it only uses a you know a fairly, fairly small amount of power. So I think it could be very handy. For let's put this back on here. Get this thing lit up again if we can. Um, there we go. Um, there it is. I call it the <laughs> Jewel Singer. Um, and thanks to Laser Saber and others that, who have uh, made the replications here. It's running off of four D batteries and um, it, the transistor which is a single 2N3055 doesn't even get warm so okay well this is Jack and I hope you can see this uh, okay and thanks very much.